so spoiled. It's just so fun. <laughs> we do it there, Phil. You all right? You good? <laughs> well, I'm literally driving your car on my Goodwood Motorcycle. I know. <laughs> and the track's sharp. <laughs> what a rebels. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. A very special one today. We're down on a farm. We're with a truck, but it's not what you think. We're not out delivering straw or delivering potatoes today. This is a Ford F100 pickup with Nissan 370Z running gear. Let me bring in Mr. Phil, come in mate. <laughs> this is Mr. Phil. How you doing? He has built this thing from scratch. I mean, I can't quite believe it myself. Let me flip the camera around. Right, Mr. Phil. Yeah. So you bought this, we we're just quickly having a chat about it. So you yeah. bought this a couple of years ago? A couple of years ago, just in lockdown, yeah. And basically it was, underneath was rotten as a pear. And no floors, no cab corners, no doors. <laughs> yeah, absolutely rotten. And you bought then a crashed 370Z? Yeah, Category S write-off, 370Z, 2012 I think it was. Okay, and you've swapped all the underneath from that into this? Into that. But? But to do that, we had to build an entire one-off chassis for it. Mate, yeah. what a legend, <laughs> what a legend. So so it's the 370Z engine, which is how much power? Uh, it's currently making, it's dynoed at 350 horse yeah. engine. And, and that's a twin turbo V6? Uh, it's, a, it's naturally aspirated V6. Oh, naturally yeah, aspirated yeah, yeah. V6. So oh, I thought they're there, turbos. There's a possibility for turboing in the future. <laughs> what, because you think it's a bit slow? Um, no. No, no, <laughs> but I probably will do in a year. <laughs> So, and what, because what weight is it? Uh, it's 1325 kilos. 1325. Yeah, somewhere there. Mate, that is mental. Yeah. That's mental. So, the top didn't look like this. You've uh, rubbed some of it back? Yeah, so it was all, it was completely rusty, completely, literally looked like it had just been dragged out of a field. And when we started sanding it back, this is this is what came up underneath. It was just all... About just four all different under. layers of paint. Yeah, yeah, and just been hand painted over and over again. But this, this is original. This is um, the Bell Telegraph Company. It was it was a, a telephone engineer's truck. It, do you know from where? Uh, it's a Texas truck. When I've got the title for it. It's so Texas. It's, so it's actually Texas. Yeah. So 1955. Yeah. Is the top. Yeah, it's actually what it is. Yeah. That's mad, isn't it? Yeah. It's, That's so mad. It, it, I don't think it ever thought it was going this fast. <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. And let's have a quick look in the back. I mean, I'm not going to get excited about delivering potatoes because you're not going to put many bags of spuds in there, are you? No. But no. this is all your bespoke, so you've had to literally make everything that you see here. Everything you see is covered. Other than the subframe for the. 370s there. Yeah, so we've got uh, the actual subframe is bolted in underneath these plates, which we can take out if you want to. No, no, that's fine. Um, but that's the only original parts, and it just bolts straight in. Same with the front end. Yeah, I think if I put any bags of spuds in here, they're all going to fall out the back. Oh, there's. Well, out the, out the bottom. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> right. Let's have a quick one. Then pop the bonnet. Pop the bonnet. <laughs> Always like a little sneaky. <laughs> Look at that! There she is. <laughs> That's very shiny. So what litre is this? That's 3.7 litre. 3.7 litre? Oh, hence yeah. the 370. Yeah, hence the 370, yeah. And you've yeah. given it your own little touch with the little F-170, sort of very nice. Named the project. Yeah, 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 it's a little collab of the F-100 with the 370Z, very yeah. nice. And you've literally, all this is made, all that's made. Yeah, so this was just the original and then all of the, all, everything underneath all the structure is all custom built for it. Right. I mean, that's just, and how long did it take you to... It took 18 months to build it and about four months to get it through its IVA, SVA test to make it road. Yeah, because you've effectively bought, we were just discussing this, so this is effectively a 2022 20, vehicle, vehicle because it's effectively brand new. Effectively brand new. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, yeah, so it's not 1955, it's not 2000 and, what did you say, 12? 2012, yeah. <laughs> And new this year. Oh, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Right, let's have a quick poke inside. So they're original door handles? Yeah, absolutely. And then nothing else is original. Nothing else. So this is all completely... And these seats are out of a... These look impressive turbo. Impressive turbo. Yeah. I used to have an impressive, so I recognise those seats. Yeah, 1992. <laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's all converted to right-hand drive. Oh, because it was left-hand drive, of course. It was left-hand drive, yeah. Oh, I never even thought of that. Thing. Even the weird stuff that you don't even see is the footwells have been extended because you were designed to sit on a bench seat. Of course. You couldn't have sat in it, so we had to push everything forward. Oh, good grief. Yeah. Good grief, man. So this, so what we got here? So that is going to be, that is the drift brake. Just... <laughs> Hydro handbrake. There we go. So, uh, Man off yeah, to my own heart. That will be, uh, that will be, it's it's currently un, uninstalled at the minute, but it will be going in pretty yeah. soon. So, uh, and that's your, that's your gears? Gear knob, and that gear knob again was custom made in-house. Because presumably, did it, presumably that didn't line up from where the original gearbox was? No, so that would have been right back there. You okay. had to chop all of the mounting bracket for the gearbox and then redo all the linkages. Oh, so it's grief. worn off custom linkages in there. Good grief. It's almost like you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's madness. That's so cool. You've, you obviously put your own little touches on here with your spoilers and your... Yeah. So, I don't know, I love that Protorian. Yeah, it's like, they'd like they'd, you get the, like the NASCAR trucks kind of. Yeah, like time trial attack trucks. And this, does this hold the cab in place? Yeah, yeah, so it is, it is, and we've got the full roll cage inside. It is structural. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and door bars and everything. And the roll cage runs entirely through all of the front and comes out comes out through these bars. And then oh, back, grief. And then back down. It is a full structure. And you take this on, you've taken this on track? Yeah, 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 we've tracked this. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That is awesome. And you've built it all in here? All in here. This is it. This is the, where the magic happens. <laughs> the magic happens. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so you've got a few spares and some bits up here. Yeah, a few spares for the next truck. This is the engine that came in the back of it, <laughs> in the yeah. bed. So That's a 351 Windsor, so that's a normal... Yeah. American V8. And this is all your... And this is the... What do you say you've got in here? Plasma cutter and... CNC plasmas, lathes, mills, these, uh, MIG welders, TIG welders, 3D printers. Yeah, pretty much everything you need to... Build a truck. Build that. <laughs> <laughs> mate, that's very, very... Mate, honestly, that is, that is very, very impressive. Yeah. Wow. So what's this little what's this little divot for here? So originally there was like a bracket and the spare wheel would have sat in the oh, section. Oh I see. Yeah. But you're obviously you're not gonna get a spare wheel on with the, what size are they? Twenty uh, yeah. Twenties? Twenty twos? They're gigantic. They, I don't know what they are, they're monsters, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> right, that's enough chat. Shall we go for a drive? Let's go for it. Let's do it. Land Rover door rattle slam tinny sort of a bit, but not so oh, bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad. I've done, redone all the door mechs, so they're all um, bare claws. So <laughs> I've got a kick tray as well. Yeah. That's where the ECU sat behind there. Is it? Oh yeah, you definitely want to put something yeah. cold there. <laughs> oh, mate, this is awesome. <laughs> oh mate. Don't you just feel like a hero going around oh, this? Listen, Especially because you, yeah. you've built it as well. Yeah, and the amount of people that stop and wave and... Oh, they just, really? Oh, yeah. Where do you want to go? Oh. Somewhere where you could go for a bit of a blast. I don't know what it, how fast it goes and what it handles like, so if you want to... Handles like a track car and is fast as... Is it? <laughs> well, let's go somewhere you can give it a blast then. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you, the, first, the first person we've seen is just like, yes. Mate, it's great. What's the. Oh, mate, carpet the roof. Yeah, carpet the roof. All the, all the mod cons. Yeah, I wasn't messing around. <laughs> you thought, yeah, you wanna, you're you driving it around, you want to be in a nice place. Well, like, I'll take Fran out, my wife in it. We'll go yeah. out for lunch and, uh, you know, to a pub. So she wants to be comfy. Because the, the beauty of this is it, it looks like a really old truck, but actually it's brand new and reliable. Absolutely, 100 well, it's 10 years old and reliable. Yeah, it's it's, got, I mean, it's got... Nissan Japanese reliability. Yeah, 35,000 miles on the truck. <laughs> so oh, you got, got the original dash and yeah, everything in the there? Yeah, the original dash. Amazing. Oh, you got current MPG, yeah. what gear you're in? Yeah. What? It all works. Everything works. That's hilarious. <laughs> 
That's awesome. Was it Rev 2? Seven and a half. Seven and a half, about. And it does. And it does go. <laughs> and it does. Oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> It's just, it's honestly on track. It's just a weapon. I mean, it's it? just. Uh, it's, I think people just get it's, weir it's rear wheel drive, but not a lot of weight on the bed. Is it yeah. pretty? Uh, no, weirdly, it sticks Does really it? well. Yeah. It doesn't try and rotate every I mean, time you touch not, the gas. Not every time. I mean, it... <laughs> half the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That steering wheel looks really tidy. It is. Is, the, is the steering really heavy? Is it fine? No, it's fine. Is yeah. that all power steering? Oh wait, this is sick. You just feel like an absolute superhero. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, it's just like. I mean, it's a hard ride, but it's, it's not. It's not that bad. It's not a killer. Not at all. It's no, no worse than any modern modern car. So is it still all the original Nissan free? 70Z springs shocks. No, no, they're all custom built. Custom built? Yeah, so they're AVO shocks, and then we had to chop the shocks in half and then extend the lower halves of them and then re push everything. And then we put Faulkner springs on. Yeah. Went down to Faulkner and then we decided what we because, needed for it. Because what? The ride height wasn't ride right? Ride height, or... and, and the way I wanted it is that all my spring perches are all adjustable. So if I wanted a different set of shocks, but they're bigger or smaller, I can adjust. The actual spring, the spring perch yeah. can be detached from the car, and I can even make a new one if I want to adjust where it sits. Yeah. It was just all done so that we could have complete control over everything. Amazing. Yeah. with the running boards as well, loving that. <laughs> Honestly, it looks so sick. It looks better out of the road as well, because once you get like a couple of boring cars come past and then you see this, <laughs> it just stats out something bigger. So yeah, basically this is like the ultimate in upcycling. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we took like two written off cars, or knackered cars, and yeah, made, made one really good one. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, anyone that cries and go, oh, it's a bit original. It's not original. It's not original. But yeah, you could have, the original of underneath of this car, you've like swept it out with a dustpan and brush. Yeah, it would have been crushed. <laughs> it, would, it would have existed. Yeah, it would have gone to the bin, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing there's a lot of trial and error. Well, I would have thought so, but it... It seemed to happen. It just worked. What, because you like measured 37 times yeah. at once? Yeah, that as yeah, that well. Yeah. But like the geometry of it, I know it's a bit boring, the geometry of the front, we took a negative mould off of the original car and then yes. made the front of this car exactly the same as the suspension geometry in the Z. So we know it worked. Amazing. So why change that geometry if it yeah, works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just oh, was easy awesome. to do it that way. And it feels good, it feels like the steering yeah. feels all good. Yeah, you, I mean, we'll, we'll get out of the motorway and you'll do an 80 and you'll be just, you won't just, even know you're doing just it. Just cruising. Yeah, no, you won't be doing 80, you'll be doing 70. <laughs> 65. Yeah. It's 314 to the rear wheels. Okay. 
Yeah. So. And that's just totally stock. Uh, stock power. Uh, yeah. So we had it tuned, and it's got um, a piggyback Ekitech ECU. Yeah. So uh, Mark at Abbey Motorsport has tuned it and dynoed it. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, it's been up there. Costs a lot of It's just so fun. It's just one of those. It's it, like. It's fun at slow speeds, it's fun parked, it's fun on the go, it's, yeah. just, it's just fun. It's just, it's just a fun car. And that's what it was always just built for, was just fun. Have a big, have a, just have a giggle. Yeah. Like, who wants to grow up? Yeah. Like, it's yeah. just, like, brilliant. Sick. Mate, wicked. Oh, little LEDs as well. Brilliant. Got LED running lights. Yeah, they're, um, if I put them on, they're all uh, halos. Oh, are they? Everything, new brakes, new gearbox. And it was you, a five you, you haven't touched the engine on this tool. No, this is all just been tuned, and that's it. Wow. <laughs> and you got, and you got the sound of this over. You got V6 instead of a flat four. Exactly. Yeah. A bit more reliable, like more reliable, probably slightly lazier power. Yeah. Where do you want to put it? I'll just stick it in here, mate. Someone who can't stick it, go park next to that Cobra. Which cave? Ow! Awesome, mate. <laughs> right, it's going to get brewed. I was taking pictures already. Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> it. Wow, I love it. Absolutely love it. This is what happens. Pull up, stop, walk away, and everyone comes over and starts taking pictures. I love it. <laughs> Phil can't walk away from his truck. I was like, oh mate, oh, I love your truck. Can I have a look? What engine you got? What year is it? 
<laughs> Love it, that's what it's all about. There'll, there'll come a day where Phil gets bored of this, <laughs> just turning up and then not being able to leave his car parks <laughs> without getting about 30 questions. Right, so we've been a bit sneaky, we popped up to Goodwood and they said the track shut, we could go on the grid and get a picture for the thumbnail. So obviously I'm having a little drive as well. Get the money shot. Mega. Oh mate, that was super nice of them, man. They all want to go home and we're out here taking pictures and mucking about. There we go, guys. Hope you like that video. Thanks to my buddy Phil for uh, taking me out in his truck. And massive thanks also to Goodwood for letting us come onto the circuit at the end of the day and park for hopefully what is a mega thumbnail. We'll find out when I get in the edit. Um, make sure you go and follow Mongrel Dogs Racing on yep. Instagram for pictures of this and pictures of the build. Also, make sure you subscribe to me, because if you haven't, why haven't you? I'm only joking, but go and subscribe. Anyway, that's enough from us. See you on the next one, and see you there. <laughs> go away, plane. <laughs> It's about letting him drive. Well, he's just letting me drive it to here. I won't let him on the road. <laughs> he's gonna let me crash it on track. Yeah. The, oh, that's the cyber Yeah. Go on, put the indicator on then. <laughs> Everywhere you stand's like a shadow. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you're as big as me. <laughs>